Hey, morning guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today we're Bells Rapids, if you can see. I tried to come down for a sunrise, uh, and the weather changed on me in the last 24 hours, of course. <laughs> Always the way. Um, was supposed to get a nice sunrise over the bridge and then sort of get that over the water and the rocks um, but it hasn't really happened like I hoped unfortunately um, it rained for the probably first 45 minutes I was down here unfortunately um, the sun's come out there wasn't that nice glow I was hoping for the clouds I think blocked a lot of that morning that sort of first golden hour sort of section so that was a bit of a shame there's a little bit over on the hills the sun's just sort of hitting the top of the hills now so i'm sort of hopeful i've been getting a bit of long exposure because all this foam down here uh, and then with the waterfall all the rapids coming through under the bridge so um hopefully you can see all that i was hopeful hopeful to get a nice little orange glow just sort of over all these rocks and stuff and get something that way but um going yet again with another plan B which is always the way but it's sort of good and it's a it's not a loss I get to practice a little bit with this video camera and I can shoot with the M50 so I don't have to worry about that so hopefully that all's going well hopefully I'm in focus that's going to be the big tricky part should be autofocus but you never know <laughs> um, so I've got a couple of shots here and I'm sort of just trying to get a bit of the rocks these rocks off to the side here with that foam just sitting on the water and there's a little bit of an orange tint coming off it. Um, nothing really spectacular. I've got a thousand ND filter on and the only sort of saving grace is because of that cloud cover in the background, um, it's not blown out and it's there's a little bit of something up there in that in that background, so that's sort of good. Um, yeah, so this foam's pretty cool. I haven't seen this before. It's obviously the rains have come through and it's just sort of got a bit of muck in the water that it's just uh, put up, so that's pretty cool. Um, something different, so it's got a little bit of a an interest to it, and yeah, it's going to keep shooting and see if I can find some. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm not sure how much longer I've got here because that sun is coming and then it's probably going to go over on those hills and then I'm probably going to, once it gets over up and out, I'll probably be stuffed. I'll see if I can bring you down and show you what I've got on the back here so far. Okay, so you can see what I'm sort of looking at there. See all this beautiful foam and that little bit of rapid coming through under the bridge. A um, bit of bird life floating around. And that sun up there so it's sort of I was hopeful I'd get a nice orange glow but it's not you can walk look around and see up there on the hills it's just sort of starting to come now and I think I've lost any chance of getting any sort of golden glow but there's a little bit of color just bouncing off the water there so I'm hopeful I can get some of that and that's what I'm trying to get in here so those little patches of water uh, just here uh, you can see I've got them in, in there. So I'm just bracketing the shots. Let's go through and see what I've got. So you can sort of see, not a lot there. A few earlier where I had a different setup. So there was a little bit more color in the sky, a little bit of tiny touch of pink, I guess. Um, those clouds are right, and I've. See that one's not too bad. So there's a little, little bits, sort of just sort of showing. So I am enjoying this video camera. I think it's definitely a lot better for me, I guess, and cheap, cheap too. I didn't have to buy a seven hundred dollar uh, camera, but it's um, come up pretty good. Go along with my new Storm Tech jacket, which was sensational in the rain. I needed that. It, um, Definitely was warranted this morning. Yeah, a bit disappointed about the rain. Did you get that?
could pull up everything through this little rapid section. Um, you see we've got the camera here, just here, facing back this way. Um, I'll take the camera over and show you, but uh, it's uh, come up pretty good. I was just walking back and found this shot and I thought oh, I'll just take a quick shot. And it's come up really good. There's a little rapid just here and then a long stretch of just glassy water with that foam coming down on it. Uh, and I don't know if you've seen some of my previous videos, that old tree from Bells Rapids where I did some Astro, I got some really nice uh, Milky Way ones over the back of it. So where that was, where it was all dry, was is all now water. And I've got that in my top right corner of my composition with this little beautiful rapids coming through um, and the sun has peaked above the just as I started taking shots and got set up started uh, peaking up over the top and then it is right on the side of that tree and I think I've got a couple I might have a couple of winners here uh, it's come up really good um, shooting around f16 to f22 just varying that it's ISO 100 because that sun's just coming up I've got an ND 1000 filter on there and I've got it two seconds to try and just give that water a bit of flow uh, not just freezing it but uh, yeah look it, I'm pretty happy with it actually um, try some different stuff uh, might even go down to one second here Let's see what so yeah, look, just walking back for I just walked back this way to, towards the car and I seen it and pretty darn stoked about it. So I'll bring you around now, off, I'll get the camera off, I'll bring you around and go handheld off the tripod and then show you sort of where I'm looking and show you down at what I'm seeing and just check what that looks like. So this is a one second one, maybe a little bit dark. Put that 1000 on there. Show that. And just bracketing the shot so I've got something to work with too, which is always good, sort of, it's easy to fill a memory card. It's not hard to uh, delete some photos if they're no good, but um, you probably can't see me. But uh, yeah, you can see sort of all this beautiful water and this rock here is just amazing at Bells Rapids. And hopefully you can hear me through this because this is what I got this for, so I can do this sort of stuff and not have to worry about noise. So fingers crossed. Right, I'll go handheld and then we'll I'll see if I can show you what I'm sort of doing. So don't go in the water. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure if it's gonna blow out. So that's what I'm sort of shooting at now. Get a reflection of me holding the camera, so that's always handy. Um, but that's sort of Try and get off to the side away from that light. So you've got that tree, you've got the sun behind it, and these falls. So I'm shooting, shooting up these falls here. 
and then with that water behind and then the top right hand corner it framed is that tree there so that sort of composition which is pretty darn cool I think so that's the idea and then so you can see that sun sun's just right on the corner I've got that in the camera so I'm shooting at 10 mil so I'm getting a lot of lot in the subject and yeah with that sun just creeping over the mountain in the background I think it looks pretty cool and you can see it has a little bit more bells before we go and that's probably going to do us so uh, just going to finish up here very cool so just if you can't find what you want just keep looking uh, it's obviously it's tricky if you can come the day before which I really couldn't do I could have come and just seen where the water was flowing and what was around but um, yeah it's always sort of good Okay, Dake. Well, that's me for another day. Um, yeah, I'm actually nice and dry. I should be wet, but I'm not. I've got my Dana boots on, my Mountain 650s. I've been trying them out. They're awesome, as always. Um, and this new Stormtech jacket I got, which is uh, fully waterproof to about 5,000 mils over 24 hours. So, pretty happy about that. So. Successful, uh, waiting until I get the photos up, but I think I've got a couple of decent shots there. Um, at least some to show you. You've seen them now, or before, or after, or whenever I put this up. <laughs> I'll, um, yeah. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you on the next one. Radio, see ya. I keep on thinking back on it when we escaped with our first real paycheck. Wasn't much, but we needed less. Yeah, then we do now. But even